Hi, my name is Lori Leiba Martinez. Um, I'm from Chuchas, New Mexico. Uh, I'm here at work. I work for a public health clinic called El Centro Family Health Dental Clinic. Um, we serve uh, a lot of the underserved um, people that have a hard access to dental health care. We serve um, low income people with insurance, people uh, with state coverage insurance. So here we are, here's, here's our clinic. I'm from uh, Chuchas, New Mexico. That's uh, 25 miles north of here. Uh, we're by the Chuchas Peaks, one of the highest peaks in New Mexico. And so I'm from a rural area, which uh, made me want to come into this field to serve the people that have a uh, hard access to dental health care. Um, I went to school in Penasco, New Mexico. Um, that's also a little rural town. I think our graduating class was 30 of us. <laughs> a lot of my math classes I use towards my profession because uh, we calculate a lot when it comes to medications, um, also giving uh, injections, knowing how much. And so you use your math. And um, yeah, so that's. That's it about high school, I guess. <laughs> so I get here at seven in the morning, uh, open up the clinic. I start seeing my patients uh, by 7.30. Um, and I usually have an hour or an hour and a half per patient. Uh, before COVID, uh, it was usually an hour per patient. So I bring them in, take their temperature, uh, take a blood pressure, we go over medical history, ask them uh, if anything interferes with the work that I'm going to do, um, put them back, start cleaning their teeth. Um, so I spend a lot of time while I'm cleaning my patient's teeth, talking about oral hygiene instructions. Whatever I learned in college, uh, I try to teach my patients so that they can educate their families and so forth. Um, and so during the cleaning, I scale with my sharp instruments, uh, taking off bacteria, rinse. I polish their teeth for any rough areas, nice and smooth. We're also uh, educated to look for oral cancer screening. So we do oral cancer screenings. We're taught to look at the face, the head and neck. So I actually educate my patients a lot about being out in the sun, using sunscreen, chapsticks with sunscreen. We look for lesions or lumps and bumps that aren't supposed to be there around the head and neck, around the mouth. Um, we give referrals if we have to, to dermatologists. I work side by side with my boss, who is the dentist. At the end of the day, we're happy. Our patient usually feels good and is happy about having a clean mouth. Um, we give them their little goodie bags and, and it's until six months we see them again or until their next recall, three or four months. Um, you know, out of high school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but my dentist recruited me. And when my dentist recruited me, I uh, started off being a dental assistant on the job training, which was wonderful because it gave me a background of what I needed to know about dental before I knew I wanted to become a dental hygienist. And um, so starting on the job training, um, they gave me time to get certified in taking x-rays. Uh, they gave me time to educate myself while working and get certified to polish teeth. Uh, they also gave me time to get educated to take a test to administer fluoride as well. So I think it was about a two year or a one year span, one to two year span it, that it took me to get educated and certify myself, take my test through the state of New Mexico. Um, so to be certified in fluoride, coronal polish and uh, taking x-rays as well. And so and that kind of gave me a background to know that I wanted to become, to, I, I wanted to further educate myself in the dental field. So the next step was becoming a, a dental hygienist. I applied to UNM in Albuquerque, the University of New Mexico, and, um, and I was accepted. 
the when I went for my interviews to get, uh, you know, for the dental hygiene program, it was tough, though. You know, all my grades, um, you know, she said one of the directors told me, you told me you had an A in uh, psychology. And I was like, yeah, it was an A. She says it was an A minus. So, I mean, you really have to get good grades because it's so competitive. Um, but the two-year dental hygiene program was, was pretty intense. Um, we had tests every day. Uh, we were doing a lot of outreach to the schools, to the hospitals, to nursing homes. Uh, we're doing clinical uh, work and um, homeroom studies. But, you know, I think college is like either it makes you or it breaks you. So don't let it intimidate you. Uh, it makes you stronger. And, you know, you just keep going forward. Don't look back. And your accomplishments, you know, you'll, they'll make you proud. <laughs> um, in five years from now, you know, um, I really love uh, public health. So I'll probably stay in the dental field. I've thought about becoming uh, maybe a professor. Whatever you choose to do, you know, do it with pride. Thank you.